TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We're not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. So let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK right behind me. You see it. Gotta put this just in case. You never know. It gets spooky on this show sometimes, man. Twitch.com is where you can find the lives if you want to. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon. We post seven to ten times a week. UK TV shows, UK movies, UK Premier League. I say UK Premier League. Y'all get it. Talk to me. This is Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away Season 5, Episode 28. It's like three episodes left. Y'all knew I was going to finish this out. I got to watch every one of them, buddy. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Figures from a leading debt charity show that the value of total personal debt in the UK has risen by nearly £30 billion over the first half of 2017. A third of people who took part in a recent survey have seen an increase in their debts as a result of the rising cost of living. One in three admit that they rely on credit to get by every month. Credit is a beautiful thing. Oh my god, the past is great. Pause it. High Court Enforcement Agents Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are in Whitefield, Manchester. They, might get they have a writ to collect a debt of just under £4,000 owed by former pub landlord Paul Kirsch to a firm of architects. Let's go see if he's in. Let's hope he's in. But this isn't the first. I'm not going to lie. If Stuart is there and this is in Manchester, the possibility of it getting negative is very high. Pounds owed by former pub landlord Paul Kirsch to a firm of architects. Let's go see if he's in. Let's hope he's in. But this isn't the first time Stuart has tried to enforce this writ. Last time, Mr. Kirsch said he couldn't pay immediately and so was given 24 hours to clear his debt. But he didn't pay. Beautiful house. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Is this what they refer to as Manchester Sunshine? Now the agents need to get this case resolved for good, one way or another. It's a huge house. I don't want to hear no excuses. With no answer, the agents go to investigate round the back of the house. Hello! Hello. Hello. Finding an open door, they make peaceful entry. Is anybody in? Hello, Mr. Kirsch. Stuart, don't give a damn about them guys. Yeah, I'm just standing outside. No, no, just stay in here at the moment, sir. Please, just stand outside. No, I'll be stuck on you at the moment, sir. Despite his claims, this is where the notice of enforcement has been sent to, and where Stuart met Mr. Kirsch on his previous visit. You can call the police. Stuart makes his position clear. We're here now to collect a balance of three thousand nine hundred and sixteen pounds. If not, we are instructed to remove goods. I'll give you 15 minutes to try and raise the funds. If not, we will have to go around the property, so to... Opportunity yeah. to bring somebody... Yeah, yeah. do that just, then, no problem. If you're not going to leave the house, sit down. I'll yeah, be right near, sir. Please give me the okay. opportunity. OK, I'll give you that right. opportunity. I'll give you 15 minutes, sir. No, you can't just give me 15 minutes. I can't, I can't, can't do, do it, sir. It's not my address. So you keep I saying that. I've to citizens' advice. Yeah. You can only take things that belong That's to right, me. That's right, sir. OK. okay. This is not my television. Right. This is not my couch. Okay. This is not my house. Yeah. We're looking after the dogs. Right, you the dog's sick and he's got it his ill. So I said I'd stay with the dog. If you want to make a phone call and arrange a payment, that will be the end of the matter. It's a whole lot of waffling. While Mr. Kirsch starts to make some calls, Stuart hunts around for evidence that the debtor is more than just the house sitter he claims to be. We know he lying. Prove but it. But Mr. Kirsch has other ideas. How can you go wandering into another room? 
Can you hear what I'm saying? I can hear what you're saying, so sir. Yes. Why are you stopping me from making the phone call? I'm not stopping you at all. I'm not stopping you at all. I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping you at all. I'm not stopping you at all. Where I can sir, see you. You can see me through the window. No, I want you to sir. stand there. You can't just wander in somebody else's sir, house. Right, I'm going to make it clear to you. If you're not happy with what we're doing, ring the police. What are you doing there? How can you look at other somebody else's information? I'm look, sir. Right, please don't look at it. I can do. No, Why? you can't. Why? What have you got to hide? Nothing. You've got nothing, got nothing to, hide, to hide, sir. Okay, so I'll just continue having a look through here then. You will find that, there's, that any information to do with me in this building has yeah. nothing to do with me. Okay, okay? that's fine. That's right. no problem at all. But sadly, I can't take your word for that. But then Vic spots a letter in Mr. Kirsch's name sent to this address. Address here, Mr. Kirsch. I told you that I've been staying with my girlfriend and I'm looking after the dog. So you're staying here? No, I'm not living here. It's not my address. And here's another letter here, sir. Royal Mail. If Mr. Yeah. Paul Kirsch, why did your post come here? Because I asked to, to send some post here. Right. Sir, come on. No, I'm telling you the come truth. On. Please, so, you not continue looking, taking in for me. What, what are you doing? Taking photos. I must take out. Not my address. You're digging yourself in a hole. No, sir. I'm not giving myself Look, in a some hole. Some evidence here, Paul. Let's not go in circles. Let's get this thing sorted out, right? Let's I'm trying to get it sorted out! Don't raise your but voice you're then trying to be awkward with me. I'm, I'm telling you, it's not my home. Okay. Do I stay here? Okay. Yes. Do I look after the dogs? Yes. Does your post come here? Yes. The agents now have good reason to believe that this is Mr. Kirsch's current home. That's more than enough. Stuart's evidence. patience starts to run out. With the debtor getting more irate, he needs to get this case back on track. Take an inventory. Let's just nip it in the bud now, sir, OK? Give it till quarter past 11. Let's yeah. try and make some calls, try and get sorted out. I'm trying down. to, but I don't feel comfortable you rooting around, and I'm telling you that I don't own this house. Yeah, but and the property in, in this house does not belong to me. OK. Right. Let's try and get it sorted, Paul. Yeah. I'm the phone, so I can do it to keep being Like I said, so we've still got time. What problem is that? We always give the defendant time to raise the funds. Because it's a big shock. As you can imagine, someone knocking your door with a piece of paper saying, if you don't pay, we will take goods away. It's not a shock. So we always try and work with defendants, give them time to ring a family member or a friend, because we all know someone that most probably can help us. The clock is ticking. Mr. Kirsch now has 15 minutes. First and foremost, it should not be a shock to Mr. Kirsch. They visited before, gave you 24 hours to pay your debt. You decided not to pay it. <gasps> So now they're back. This is not a shock. This is the address on the paperwork, Mr. Kirsch. We don't believe you. And if you can't pay, guess what we're going to do? We're going to take it away. Now has 15 minutes to find the £4,000 he owes. Or the agents will have no choice but to remove any goods belonging to him from the house. You've got the order with the, with the value on it. Here's a copy for you, sir. I need to make you aware, so if we do start taking control of goods, the balance does go up. I don't want you to remove the goods. No, I want wait. to make the payment. Give me an opportunity to make I don't, the payment. We are. We are at the moment. Wait, we just can I give you £100? Pound? No. no. Well, what can I give you then? The very minimum they would accept 15. is 50%. That is £2,000. We can't put an offer forward for less than 50%, but we need to know a guarantee figure. There's no point in ringing up with figures, sir, until you can raise it. Up to the claimant at the end of the day to accept it. Yeah. I swear to you, yeah. That this debt, I have every intentions of paying it because yeah. you people do not go away. You're like a rubber band, you're just going to bounce back again. Mm -hmm. The only way that you're going to bounce and not come back is if you get paid. Mm. Right, I get that. Defendants will throw all sorts of s smoke screens at us. But once they've realised they've used all their excuses, all their reasonings, they then think, right, well, I need to try and get this sorted as quickly as possible. Can be music to our ears sometimes when a defendant says, I know, I know it's owed, I need to raise some funds, can you give me a bit of time to try and raise something? That's something that we want to hear on every job. Mr Kirsch's time to raise some funds is almost up. With no sign of payment, the agent's only option is to start looking for assets to seize. Plenty of assets. So yeah. I'm just going to go look around the property. No, 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 excuse me. I don't want you to go around the property. I will be, sir. Sir, Daniel, we're going to stop in your actions and make a payment. Excuse me. I don't want you. You're not allowed to go around the property. Of course I am. It's not your house. It's not your house. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Please don't start. Please. Sir. Give me the opportunity to do. What Mr. Kirsch needs to understand is he is no longer in control of this situation. They have been appointed by the high court to execute a writ in the name, what was this, 2017, of the Queen. The Queen sent them here. 
Queen Lizzie sent them here. You cooked. And if you continue to get on their way, you're obstructing justice. Or what? what is it called? What's the charge? Obstruction of peace. Something. You're going to jail, basically. Sorry, sorry. But please don't go on doing the moment. House. With Mr. Kirsch now obstructing the agents from carrying out their lawful duties, the case has reached a stalemate. Stuart and Vic will have to use all their negotiating skills to get the £4,000 they came for. High Court Enforcement Agent. Now, Stuart must make it clear that he has every right to start listing goods for removal if Mr. Kirsch doesn't make an offer of payment. Please don't go sir, on doing at the, the moment, house. okay, I'm yeah. here now to assess it's goods. It's not my okay? property. But you're here, sir. No, okay. I'm here. So what I'll do yes. is, I'll give you another 15 minutes to try and raise the funds. I've not oh. got it. I've oh. not got it. Oh. Right now. It's half 11 now, so I'll, I'll give it till quarter to 12, and then we will have to do an inventory. With a second deadline set, Stuart has given Mr. Kirsch a final chance. Raise the money now, or lose any assets in the house belonging to him. Mr. Kirsch deadline? gets straight back on the phone. Just one second. Yeah. My brother in law is on, on the phone, right. and he says that... Can you ring somebody and, and check that if you can accept £2,000 as a, as, a, as a payment? We can do, yes, that's not a problem. So can you pay £2,000 on your behalf? Can you pay £2,000 on my behalf? Yes, he's saying. OK, no problem, I'll make a quick yeah, call. There's no signal in here, so I'll have to go outside. That's more balance, than can you raise it in 30 days from today? Yeah, I'll find £2,000 in 30 days. So that's the offer, Stuart. £2,000 a day, balance in 30 days. Let's see what I can do, mate. Let's see what I see. Payment plan. Why are you Stuart doing goes outside to call the office to see if the offer of a £2,000 down payment from Paul's brother-in-law, together with an agreement to pay off the balance, is acceptable to the claimant. His friends can pay £2,000 um, today. But, and then he's going to try and clear the balance in 30 days. Would you be able to chat with the claimant see if he'll accept that? Okay, I'll oh. get on the same line. No problem, mate. Speak to you short. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah. It's very important to have a strong family network. I do feel for people that don't have that family network and don't have people to call because you really are on your own. But on the other side of it, we're seeing more and more families coming together to try and help, getting help from the family. It's only going to make you stronger. 15 minutes later, the office calls Vic. It could make the family weaker. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Because you pay your fam debt, they don't end up paying you or feeling obligated to pay you back. Cause, oh, man, you family. You're supposed to help her. If you don't stop all that goofy sh and pay me back, I ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> you hear me? Not a crumb of it. Figure it out. And then, you know, it can drive that wedge in between. <laughs> 2000 today and the balance in 30 days just to confirm yeah okay thank you very much mike all right cheers Jay. bye bye the claimant accepts the offer the gentleman's gonna make the payment on your behalf yeah i'm gonna give you our office number and you can phone them directly what we're saying is basically balance of 1916 pounds 24 pence to be paid by the 6th of july you need to sign out that you agree with that and that you're going to stick to it Yes, right, we'll leave you to it, Paul. I don't believe he's going to pay that. Brilliant. Thank you. All right, Paul, see you later. It's a good result for the agents. But if Mr. Kirsch doesn't pay the money he owes within 30 days, they'll be back. When he doesn't pay the money in 30 days, y'all will be back. I'm not going to lie, Vic, I feel quite honoured by that. You just don't give up. You're like an elastic band once you... <laughs> Come back, you keep on coming back. We call many things, but never an elastic band. <laughs> Stuart the rubber band. A recent survey has revealed that young adults in the UK are coming under increasing financial pressure. 
On average, 25 to 34 year olds have a disposable income of just over 200 pounds per month. Dang. And nearly 40% receive financial help from their parents. 100%. That seems a little under. High Court Enforcement Agents Matt Highway and Gary Ball are in Kings Norton, Birmingham. As from always, Manche we've got our instructions from Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah. We'll carry them out. From Manchester to Birmingham is crazy. £10,000 owed by Daniel Hutchins 10, to a car pounds. finance company. It's another big one, this, mate. It's uh, a few hundred quid off ten grand. Cool. Big money to find. Mr. Hutchins was paying for a new car he bought in instalments, but fell behind with his payments. We're going to see what we can do, shall we? Yep, see if he's in. The finance company took Mr. Hutchins to court and won, and now he must pay the money he owes in full today. What was the court battle like? <coughs> you rent... You... Hello there. Can I speak to Daniel Hutchins, please? Yeah. Thank you. Peaceful entry. Boxes. Can you just put some clothes on? Oh, is it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still needs boxes at half eleven. <laughs> no wonder you lost the car. Hiya, you mate. Right? You all right? Daniel, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How you doing, mate? Yeah, right? yeah, not bad. Should we come have a chat, yeah? Yeah, yeah, all right. of course. I'm at Highway, yeah, High Court yeah, Enforcement, yeah, yeah, Gary yeah. Ball. How you doing? All right, yeah. We're, uh, we're about a High Court rip, mate. Does this relate to a card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car, car, yeah, car, car, car yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro looks like the final boss of all gingers. Like, I am a little bit afraid. Like, well, hold, hold, now, now, hear me out. He looked like something. I just can't pinpoint it. I'm worried. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at Highway, High Court Enforcement, Gary Ball. We're about a High Court rip, mate. Does this relate to a car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car, yeah, car, car, yeah, car, car, car yeah. You got plenty of yeah, features. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you might so be our buying one. I haven't got the money to pay, you know, and look, I'm not, I'm not working at the moment. Anybody can help me with this or not? I hope that's the proper term. I ain't got no one to help me. Like I don't, I ain't spoke to my mum for like seven months. Um, my dad won't be able to help. So hey, we're ordered to attend the property to either collect payment from you or to look at seizing goods. Yeah, yeah. This, um, this is actually my house. So he's only recently just moved. I've just moved in, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me, me and the kids. Okay. Well, yeah. What the situation is there, unfortunately, is that because this is the the, the address named on the writ, um, the onus would be on you to prove that the items belong to yourself. So if you do have receipts or invoices for them, we'll have a look. Right. While Daniel starts looking for sales receipts, Matt tries to find out more about the case. Well, what's happening here? I was just saying, uh, just little, little cheeks. How long ago was this, um, was this debt from, Dan? When, when, when did you uh, have the car? Basically, they took the car off me. That's the repossession? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my job, which made me not keep payments on my car. I took the car. Um, what car was it? Uh, insignia. The car was originally like eight thousand pounds or something, but yeah. some, somehow, even though I paid five grand and I've took the car, the same as slow like seven grand. But I don't, I don't get how that works. Daniel can't seem to find any receipts for the goods in the house, but he's keen to show Matt. Let me, t let me tell you something. They're finessing it. It's all a finesse, America. I've had a car repossessed before, not because I didn't have the money, just because I wasn't paying it. It was slipping my mind. <laughs> And uh, what they do is they take it from you, they repossess it, they sell it at auction, and then the difference they try to get back from you. If not, they're just going to take a loss. They don't even come for you. They just charge it off on your credit. It shows a charge off. That's how. At least that's how they did me. And it's been like almost seven years, so that is about to disappear, buddy. <laughs> Just wait it out. Do you feel me? Some other documents. So I've got loads of that letters, but they're, they're all chasing me for them. But I can't, I can't afford to pay them yet. I'm not, because like, I'm not working. You can have a look around the address, but not going to be nothing worth taking. You got a lot of jaw. I've got a van outside, but it's not going to be no use yet. I'll have a look at mate. You're pretty honest with me, aren't you? I don't disbelieve what you're saying to me, so, yeah. 
It's clear that Daniel has fallen on hard times, but the agents are duty-bound to search the house for anything of value that could be seized to offset his debt. I'm going to have a look round and then we'll, uh, yeah, no we'll, we'll sort it out from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tired to, to be fair, this is a palace compared to some of the houses we're going to, don't worry. There doesn't appear to be anything here of value. But then Matt discovers a letter from the Crown Court. It throws a new light on the case. What's all this breaching suspended sentence oh, no, stuff, mate? Know. What's going on with that? I went to Crown Court the other day. I saw a breach my community service. If I breach one more in six weeks, I'm going to get 12 months in jail. What's you playing that, man? Get it sorted. I'm off tag for like two weeks, guys. I'm tagged for that one. There's only one way that's leading, isn't there, really? You know what I mean? It was somebody originally that owed me money, and I found out where he lived, and then me and my went in his house without his permission and take all of my money's worth out of his house. It's kind of like what you used to do without the, without yeah, the license. Yeah, you have to get us to do that, mate. We can, yeah, we can, do, we can do that legally. And then I got hit for it, basically. It seems that Daniel's conviction is at the root of all his money troubles. So were you working when you talking about we could do that legally? Brother, somebody ran off on him. <laughs> That's what he's trying to tell you. Somebody ran off with a pack and owed him some money and he ran in his crib trying to get it back and went down for it. Y'all couldn't have, you know, what are you going to call y'all and say, yeah, uh, somebody ran off with a zip. And they ain't paid. No. Mm -mm. Conviction is at the root of all his money troubles. So were you working when you took this finance out then? I thought that I was a bin man. Uh, they come and arrested me from work. And then uh, my gaffer turned around and said, um, look, obviously we're happy with your work. No people, like, because of the council, we, we can't, said, well, yeah. we can't. You're going to be working around us. So we, we, we physically got really sick down to so that bit of daftness really has cost you quite a deal, yeah, hasn't it, really? Everything costs me everything. You gotta Often think as a High Court enforcement agent, half of your job is an enforcement agent and half of it is a social worker. We will hear the full story about what the defendant's think been through recently, been through in his life, what his situation is like at the moment. Um, and they'll open up to you with these uh, truths about their life in order to explain why they're in the position they're in. Uh, what it does for us is it builds a picture of where they are and how likely they are to pay this debt off. He's not paying that. It's ten bands. With no sign of payment and nothing to take in the house, Matt needs to double-check the value of Daniel's van. Is that the wheels? This one's yours, is it? Yeah, it's over with. It's not worth nine grand, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> are you going for white or grey? That door only opens from the inside as well. <laughs> There's nothing in there. With the best will in the world, that van's not going to cover us, is it, really? I oh, know. At auction, the van would fetch less than a hundred pounds. Dang! It's becoming clear that an affordable payment plan is the only way to get this case resolved today. But first, Matt needs to carefully assess Daniel's financial situation. We can get this onto an arrangement then, Dan. What are you suggesting? We uh, we weekly or monthly? We've got paid 114 a week between us. It's a lot of money, so it's not even like it's a small amount of money. So I don't want to offend, but I'm offering you a stupid little amount. You get plenty fixed, right? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, okay, so. So it's 114 a week as a, as a joint claim, yeah? Mm. All right. What are the debts have you got? Loads, right? Loads. Honestly. For, for what? It's all my past. So I've um, got a phone up on one for like nearly 700 quid. Um, I've got a couple of old parking tickets that I didn't pay for. I've got two hundreds of pounds. Um, I've got another kidney strong, but I can't think of what it is. So all together, I've got about 14 grand worth of debt, but when, when you're not working... Yeah. you got to file for bankruptcy, It's clear right? that Daniel is in life-changing levels of debt, so Matt decides to offer him a lifeline. So, to get this sorted, mate, what I suggest we do, um, in light of your benefits, you know, job seekers and that, um, until things improve, we'll set it up at um, the lowest they allow me to, which is £50 a week. I'm going to be honest with you, mate, it's probably going to bounce. You can't make 50 quid a week with your, uh, with your window cleaning. Yeah, I will try, yeah. Gary calls the office to see if the client will accept a, a repayment plan mm -hmm. of just £50 a week to pay off Daniel's nearly £10,000 debt. Alison, can you have a look at a job, mate? He's currently on Job Seekers Allowance, £114 um, a week. 
So he's offering um, £50 per week. Can you contact to the client, can you, and get back to us? No problem. See you later. See you in a no worries, bye, mate. Bye. Ciao. People do high debts. High debts from themselves, high debts from, you know, the people they live with. And when they've got two enforcement agents knocking at the door, I think it's a big wake-up call for them and they have to deal with the situation. Five minutes later, the office calls back. Hello. It's a no. Hi, Gary, it's Alison. At first, the client is um, agreeing to £50 per week. Yeah. Uh, on the understanding that um, uh, review every three months, just to hopefully still keep up with it, OK? Uh, no worries, I'll pass that on. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do you hear that, Dom? Yeah. yeah, they've accepted it. However, they're going to do a three-monthly review on it. Yeah. So if you do get a job, Obviously, you'll be earning more then, so... Yeah, of course. They'd obviously want more, so... Yeah, no problem. Well, you're going to have to get out, mate. Get in that... Get out in the van and get some money made. You got... Job Seekers Allowance. What the hell is that? Like, it just dawned on me that, bro, you get a job for... You get money for searching for a job? What is that? Is that, like... Un, that, like, sound different than unemployment. But Job Seekers Allowance is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Salute. You know what I'm saying? Salute. Get some money made. You got you got things to sort out now. You got you got, you got family and misses around you. You got to sort it out. That's the arrangements in place. All right. Yeah. Any issues? Give me a call. That's my mobile number there, right? Yeah. If any problems at all? Give me a shout. You look like Cheers, Dan. Take care. Brother. Ta-da, mate. See you later. Yeah. The case may be resolved for now, but as it's going to take Daniel almost four years to pay off his debt. There may be tough times ahead. He's got a lot going on, hasn't he? He's yeah. got a lot going on. I mean, that suspended sentence hanging over him. I lost my job because I'd done something stupid and ended up basically getting arrested like a, like a donut, like just making bad decisions. Got to be the man of the house now and, and stop messing about, start paying my debts and fix my life. Um, but not take out stupid car finances or, or things that I can't afford. Faced with a sensitive situation, Matt and Gary got the best result they could. But in Stuart and Vic's next case... That's my fucking... No, it's fine. No, it's fine. They tried to get us. I had to pause the whole video to fast forward. <laughs> Since 2007, landlords in the UK have been legally obliged to register their tenants' deposits with a government-backed tenancy deposit scheme. Landlords can't now keep the money in their personal accounts. They should do that here. However, the number of disputes over returning deposits to tenants rose to nearly 30,000 last year. Damage to property was an issue for 50% of tenancy disputes last year. 8 a.m. High Court Enforcement Agent Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are in Liverpool. They're here to collect almost £5,000 owed by landlord Richard Downs to two former tenants. In America, you're supposed to keep it in a non-interest bearing savings account and not touch it but the landlords here be so down bad they use your whole deposit when you ready to move out they gotta do this do that do that but you are you legally if if anything is wrong you have to have a receipt of all the repairs but see me upon leaving i'm bringing a witness i'm bringing video recording i'm doing all of that oh yeah Mm -mm, ain't gonna be nothing wrong. I'm bringing a cleaning crew and everything, buddy. Give me all of that. <laughs> I need every bit. I'm the cleaning crew, actually. To two former tenants. Early morning start, Vic. As always. Why are we in Liverpool, Vic, this we morning? Oh, Why have you brought me here? We are gonna visit Mr. Richard Downs. Definitely Outstanding not balance is 4,941 pounds. The debtor, Mr. Downs, failed to give the tenants their deposit back after they moved out of his property. It's that house in the corner, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go have a chat. The case was escalated to the High Court, and now Mr. Downs must pay back the money he owes, in full, today. Smoke. 
good trouble. Good morning, you okay? Um, I'm after Richard. Richard Downs. He's not here. He's not here. He, do, he does live here, though, doesn't he? Just woke up. All right, okay. Been on lease all night. Oh, I do apologise. He, he does live here, though, doesn't he? He stole he that roll from a uh, Right, okay. Hotel. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. Oh. Are, you, are you able to give him a quick call? No, I've just told you, love. I've just. Mm. Well, you can see you've just woke up. Right, right. Well, we need to speak to you. You want me to get hold of it? If you can, yeah. That'd be great. The woman goes to fetch her phone, and the agents make peaceful entry into the house. Is it your son or your husband? What's the relationship? My son. Don't be walking in your house, love. No, we'll be waiting here. Yeah. We'll, we'll wait here. We won't go any further. Yeah, I won't let no one go in with no shoes. Yeah, yeah. Shoes Do you want me to close the door for the eating or leave it open? Yeah, uh, you know. Right. We'll, we'll stay here for the minute. Is he in work? Goes out early, love. He goes out early. Mr. Downs's mother he gets him on the phone. Oh, he's not home, okay. You better get round here. Uh, I've got two guys here. He's on his way, is he? I wish Do you know how far he is? From the credentials. I don't know where he is. Mm, I wouldn't like to be doing your type of job, love. Mm, mm. Well, some people disagree. Someone has to do it, yeah. yeah. Someone has to do it, but yeah. I tell you what, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm sure the claimant feels exactly the same. That they follows you around. It affects other people, not just the people that we're after. They're involved, whether they like it or not. It's heartbreaking. They're going to have to call the police. This is Liverpool, buddy. Two minutes later, Mr. Downs arrives. But instead of coming inside to speak to the agents, he phones his mother. Yeah. What's it? Hi, Cole. Rick. You want to speak to him, Leon? There you go, Vic. There's the case there. Hi, good morning. Is that Richard Downs? Speaking, yeah. This is what happens. And I've got a counterclaim against them. What we're waiting to be dealt with now. At the moment, sir, I'll explain to you. It's a CCJ against yourself, a county court judgment, right? Because yeah. it's not been paid, they've transferred that CCJ to the High Court, right? We've got now a writ of control here today to execute. The outstanding balance is £4,941. All money paid today is held for 14 days. You can still have a counterclaim. I've got no problem with that, but we need payment on this case today, sir. Well, listen, it's impossible because the money wasn't there to be paying you today for starters because we've got a counterclaim for over we, three we, grand. We will have to remove goods order. then, sir. You won't be moving no goods, mate. We're instructed under the High Court. It's a writ of control, sir, and it's... Bro has the nerve to be telling them he won't be removing goods. Sir, you're not on a crumb. You're in the car outside speaking, leaving your mother in there with two people. That's first and foremost. You're not you're not like that. I can tell already. You know what I'm saying? The signs are there. Second of all, a respectable lad Come inside. <laughs> what are you talking about? If you were a respectable lad, you would have gained them people their money back. You feel me? Like, you know? We will have to remove good things, sir. You won't be moving no goods, mate. We're instructed under the High Court. It's a writ of control, sir, and it's at this address. Listen, I am a respectable landlord, yeah? Cat. Respectable landlord. This claim got lodged weeks and weeks back and I'm waiting to hear back from it. I've had no notice to pay us in full, right? I'm going to get the solicitor on the phone now because this isn't right. I can oh, yeah. talk to solicitor, but he's not going to change the situation. Finally realising the seriousness of the situation, Mr. Downs rushes in. I'll share my ID first, mate. My name is Mr. Victor, I'm a high court enforcement agent. That's my colleague, Mr. McCracken. It's a high court writ. I appreciate you've got a counterclaim, but at the moment... This we've, had, we've had no notice of yeah. use of the court to pay use in full. That's the note of his horse was, no, was sent on the 5th of the 11th. We won't be here by law if it hasn't yeah. been sent. No, it hasn't come to my door, that. What's actually regarded? He got Every day there's someone trying to scam me from something. They're just opportunist, the tenants. Tenants yeah. in my house, yeah. yeah. Moved in 2009, yeah. yeah. Left in 2012. Trashed the house, yeah. 
rob the cooper because I never put a deposit in a DPS, the judge granted them, yeah. Because Mr. Downs didn't put his tenant's deposit in a government-registered scheme, the judge found against him, and he must pay in full today. Follow the rules. I'm in a position to pay for four grand, though, so... We need the payment in full. That is the bottom line. That's what's being instructed. If not, we have to remove goods. Take his jacket. With That's payment too looking unlikely, Stuart goes outside to take a look at the van Mr. Downs arrived in. But a neighbour has spotted him from an upstairs window. Hey, you. That's not even yours, yeah. You what, mate? What do you mean? Whose is it? 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 Okay. Yeah, no problem, mate. <laughs> is this your van, is it? No problem. No, that's fine. No problem. If it's your van, that's fine. No problem. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. What do you mean, do one? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, mate. See you later. But as Mr. Downs arrived home in the van, Stuart is suspicious of the man's claims. So he calls the office to see if it's free of finance. Hi, Nicky. Can someone do a HPI for me, please? Yes. YNWA. Still hold strong and live Under 350 quid. OK. Cheers, John. Thanks very much. Bye -bye. The vehicle is free of finance and can be seized. So now Stuart needs to confirm his suspicions that it does, in fact, belong to Mr Downs. Have you got documents for the vehicle? Yeah, the documents. Yeah, because obviously we've seized that vehicle now, it will be removed. You just took my vehicle? Yeah. No, it's, not, it's still here. Yeah. It's still here, but we've taken control of it. So I'm to take the vehicle just to mm. get you out my here for now mm. and go from there, cool. It appears that the van is the debtor's, but its value doesn't come close to clearing the £5,000 owed. I'm not going to lie, he is like a respectable dude. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, it's not even... You know what I'm saying? He just did some, like, fugazi stuff at the beginning, like, not coming in when your mom is in your outside. Like, bro, come inside. But he sound like a cool dude at this point. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What these so the agents are. may have to seize assets from the house to offset the balance. But well, we have to take control of goods as well, so it be in the property as well. We will be removing goods from but then a friend of Mr. Downs arrives, and it appears he's willing to pay some of the debt. W friends. Oh, can you take half of the you money out? Half the money out, and then come back for half. There needs to be the full balance. He's instructed guys. by the full balance. I know you. I know you're trying to source it out. I'll give you cash now. Half cash now. Oh, come back for the other half. All right. If you got half cash, can you pay that off on your card? I haven't got a card. So look, we get half, and then when can you come back for the other half? It, when you come back tomorrow. We can't. We're here today for the full balance. I appreciate want to help your friend, but we, we instructed to collect the full balance or take control of goods, which means removing goods. What is it now? 4941. Mr. Downs and his friend leave to try and get the rest of the money. We can Living usually tell if someone's going to return with the cash because they've made the efforts come all the way down. They know the situation. Good they people. know why we're there. They know what's going to happen if they don't make the payment. And then they've offered to help the friend. So, in my opinion, the last thing they want to do is let the friend down. Just moments later, Mr. Downs and his friend come back. So, how much is it? Four. Four, nine, four, four one. one. And they've bought a bundle of cash. Let's quickly count this out, guys. Thanks to the help of his friend, Mr. Downs' debt is paid off in full. One. Thirty-five, yes, but. Well. All your details are in there, what you need, paperwork, copy of the route. money. There you go, guys. Got the details in there. All right, guys. W friend. W neighbor, too. The agent's perseverance has paid off. Result? Yeah, cracking work, Vic. Cracking work. Recent research shows that there are currently almost 5 million self-employed workers in the UK, and in the last year alone, they contributed over 250 billion to the economy. However, 
Four in ten self-employed workers can't afford to save any money at all each month, making them more likely to fall into serious debt. The number of self-employed workers is a serious debt has tripled since 2012. 7am. High Court enforcement agents Gareth Short and Mitch Starr are in Swindon, Wiltshire, to enforce a writ against self-employed builder Martin Riley. Where we off now, mate? Off into Swindon, mate, to visit a Martin Riley. £2,060.49. Mr Riley fitted a kitchen in the claimant's home. But she was unhappy with the standard of his work. Any notes on it? Apparently he's, uh, he's in dispute to have the cake set aside, but hasn't paid the, the court fee yet. The claimant hired another builder to finish the job, and then got a county court judgment issued against Mr Riley to recoup her costs. This doesn't look too bad. Thing. It looks alright, this does. Let's do it, mate. The case was escalated to the High Court, and now Mr. Riley must pay the £2,000 he owes in full today. I feel negativity coming. Doors open. A peaceful entry. Hello! The agents take the opportunity to make peaceful entry through the open door. That's nice. Hello! High Court Enforcement Agents, Martin, can you come down, please? Come on, it's all right. It's all right, please. Hello? Sleep, Have a look, sleep. bud. Who Hello? sleeps with their doors But open? no one appears to be in. So Gareth checks upstairs. And he's in for a surprise. Ooh. Hello, sir. Martin, is there? Yeah, can you go downstairs, please? Yeah, of course you can. No problem. No problem. He was open. The door's open, sir. Don't need permission, sir. You're the high court red. Come on. Here you go. Martin. Martin, high court enforcement right? agents. Yeah. Here to execute the high court writ against you, unfortunately. He looked like he, he got some type of connection to the underworld. Be careful now. Yes, sir. Well, I've already uh, stayed written on that. Has it been set aside? Well, it's been sent. I've paid for it. Okay. Have, have we been given a date to set it aside? Have we been given a date to set it aside, sir? Okay, I'm trying to find the letter. Okay. Mr. Riley's wife comes to help him look for documentation about his appeal. You got a sugar baby? So, all this is just to say, yeah, we, have, we acknowledge the application, but it's not been set aside. So until you, be get, you get given a date and a time to go in front of the judge, then unfortunately his High Court writ is still outstanding. So unless the full balance of £2,060.49 is paid to us right now. Yeah, you've incurred additional enforcement costs now. <laughs> this is a joke. The bloke owes me money. With Mr. Alone. Riley disputing the writ, this simple case might be tougher to crack than Gareth and Mitch expected. And it will fine. take all of their patience to get the £2,000 they came for. No. This is a joke. The bloke owes me money. Now the agents need to make... A joke. The bloke owes me money. Now, the agents need to make it clear that despite the dispute, the debt must be paid today. But Mr. Riley is keen to tell them more about the case. This is why I'm contesting it. He still owes me money. I installed a kitchen. I fitted the job in for him because she was desperate. So I went round, had a look. I said, look, I've got jobs booked in, but I might be able to fit you in. But I am squeezing you in and I'm on a time limit. Do you a favour, squeeze you in, is it? Yeah. So I went there, and then they did it. Give them the price, started the job, and then she started adding things. Oh well, I want this done, I want that done. I ran over by a week as it was because of the extras yeah, yeah. I did for her. I sent them an, uh, an invoice for the extras I'd already done, which come out at five hundred and some pound, and they owed me about one hundred and twenty from the original job. Yeah. Well, next thing he's saying that I haven't done all these things i.e. moving sockets, doing this, doing that, and everything else. Well, that wasn't in the job. 
So what are you a kitchen fit are you or, or general I'm builder? I'm general builder but mainly kitchens and bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. I said, well, I'm not coming back until you pay me my money. Yeah. He said, I'll take it further. I said, well, you do what you've got to do. Of course. And he did. Well, the problem you've got is, is they, they've probably provided enough, enough evidence to a county court judge that you do this all, all this money. Despite his dispute with the claimant, the agents are duty bound to resolve this case today. Unfortunately, as it stands at the moment, unless the debt is paid, you know, well, but you're, I haven't got that sort of you, money. The position you're in at, at the moment is if it's not paid, assets will get removed from you today. So well, at, the, at the moment, your balance stands at £2,060.49. Probably haven't even got stuff in his house worth that. So the position you're in now, if it's not paid. I can't pay it. I okay. haven't got two grand. I'm just going to get my phone. Okay. Do you have any family or friends that can help you out, Martin? Do you always go to bed and leave the front door open? It's going to work, see? We often get debtors and defenders who are just fixed on the original judgment, why they're in that problem in the first place. Don't get me wrong, I'll listen to the story all day. But, it but don't matter. I'm there to get a result. So what I try and do is listen to their story, but bring them back down to the ground and say, I'm not there to deal with disputes, unfortunately. A county court judge has already agreed that you owe this money. You might as well work with me, get the debt resolved. Realising the agents aren't going to go away, Mr Riley gets his mother on the phone. Sorry to wake you. Um, ah, ah, bro, no, Finn right. still calling on his phone? Well? Want me to give you five minutes to wake up? <coughs> well, you know that asshole that took me to court? I got two high court bailiffs stood in my front room. <coughs> Can you lend me some money? <coughs> Well, it's over two grand. <laughs> what happens when I pay this? If I go back to court and I win, do I get this back? As long as you get your date within the next 14 days, that money will be held until the end of your court case. If you win, you get the money back. I know I ain't gonna lose. It broke my head in. Mm. I'm out there trying to earn a friggin' living and you've got people like him trying to fucking walk all over me. <sighs> It's a sticky case, um, man. Sorry, we don't man. know who's yeah. who. Yeah, we'll are you able to help me out? Man, so I'm not going to um, not give you it back, have I? I just need to get this sorted out. It seems that Mr. Riley's mother is willing to pay her son's debt. She got money. <laughs> she got that money. Sorry about this, man. Have you got your card handy? You need your card. I need water. All right. Sorry. What's the code on the back of the card? <laughs> if it's a savers account, it perhaps it hasn't got it. Right, we can't use that card, Mum. Do you know how to transfer it? No. Right, I'm going to pass her on to... You carry on, mate. So you do what you've got to do. Might as well sit down. I've been driving a while, thanks. It's nice oh. to stretch the legs. <laughs> It appears Mr. Riley's mother needs to transfer money from one account to another, but she doesn't know how to go about it. UK transactions. Yeah. Oh, the mum lives on her own since my dad passed away. So right. Dad passed away two and a half years ago. She'd never even had anything to do with a bank account, so we've had to sort of try and teach her. Yeah, yeah. Your wife's talking her through it now, is she? Try it. <laughs> no matter what somebody's age is, if they phone their parents, the parent and instinct is to help them out. I'm a parent myself. I'd never want to see my son in debt or ultimately have assets taken from him. So I know from first-hand experience I would do anything to help my son out. Uh, and I'm just guessing it's, it's the same across the board. 15 um, minutes later, with the money transferred... Let me stop you right there. If I've warned you, if I've brought you up in the perfect manner that has, has alluded to these things that could happen and you went against the grind and still did stuff to get you in this situation, I'm not paying nothing. You got to learn your lesson the hard way. It's called tough love. Because I've already, I told you, I tried to lead you to the correct path, and you just went against the grain no matter what I did. So now deal with it, buddy. You want to learn the hard way? My son Go out. Uh, I'm just guessing it's, it's the same across the board. 15 minutes board. later, my daughter may transferred into now. another account, Mr. Riley calls his mother back. Right, we need your card. You got your card? Yeah. He gives the card details to Gareth. 2064, yeah. Just stick that through the light. There we are. 
Bye, man. Right, that's all, all sorted. Thank you. Love you. All right, sorry for waking you. See you later, I'll pop round later. Just take a picture of that, Thanks to his mother, Mr. Riley's debt is paid in full. Here we are, buddy, it's all sorted. All right, cheers. Hopefully we won't see each other again, mate. <laughs> no. Thank cheers. you very much. Thank take you. care, right? Yeah. I'll let you know when I win. <laughs> Lucky door in the future, I thought it was all taken care of. Obviously, I was wrong. My mum's tops. <laughs> uh, couldn't fault her, but I can't say too much because I'll uh, end up blubbering because my dad passed away a couple of years ago. So, yeah, I love her to bits. I'm just, uh... I felt a bit sorry for her because she struggled to transfer the money and everything, but we got there in the end. He was a decent enough guy. So, uh, he was. see what happens in court now, won't he? is back new next thursday at nine well campaign will take it away what a successful episode that was man leave a like comment